Hello, this is Victor from RestoreYourMercedes.com. Today I want to talk about throttle bodies found in Mercedes's made in 92 to 95. Uh, the biggest difference uh, between throttle bodies made in 92, 93 and later ones is the connector. As you can see we have a big round plug with a spring loaded mechanism on top of it. You can move it around. You can actually see a spring right there. That's a spring. Uh, this unit you will find in 92 and 93 models on uh, 400E S, actually 500 SEL and 400 SE and 400 SEL. Uh, this is a rare older style unit, one of the first ones that Mercedes made. Also, when you find this unit, the wires are different material, they do not disintegrate as the later types. So this plug um, is one of those throttle bodies that have good wiring. As you can see the loom itself is much thicker than later style loom and because the wires themselves are thicker and insulation is made out of different material. As you can see in there the colors are nice and bright and this unit is a 92 built unit okay well it's, this is a parts unit I just wanted to throw it in there just to show the difference between plugs um, this is the uh, eight cylinder throttle body plug now there's also a eight cylinder and this is a four cylinder which is not really common I don't really repair many of these but from time to time they come in so this is the biggest difference the older style plug with spring loaded mechanism, which is see not even easy to move, but as you can see if I let go, it just springs back out. So that's the old style. I just wanted to bring this in the picture. Bring in this picture so you know the differences between them. Because I ask people what throttle body do you have? So I know exactly what I deal with. And um, I ask about the plug. The plug with the orange o-ring is the newer style. Now this particular plug you will find in 93 600SL and 94 and 95 S classes uh, and E classes, V8 models, 8 cylinder vehicles. If you have a 6 cylinder vehicle the plug is going to be different let's see where's the six cylinder plug here it is here this is the six cylinder plug you can see it's much different first off it has the latch and it has pins As you can see this like little pins in there they're male pins whereas the eight cylinder and twelve cylinders will have females okay that's a six cylinder eight and twelves will have these type of plugs um, 93, 94, and 95, 12 cylinders, and uh, 94 and 95, 8 cylinders will have these plugs. Uh, 93 to 95, 6 cylinders will have these plugs. C280, um, E320, S320 will have this type of a connector. Okay, so these are these. This is the difference between connectors. Now, another difference is between the linkages. Now, six cylinder linkage, if you look and compare the two, six cylinder unit, eight cylinder unit. Um, eight cylinder unit actually will throw in 12 cylinder unit as well. This is a 12 cylinder unit, driver side. As you can see, all the linkages are different. So, here we have a smallest linkage among them all and then we have the bigger one it's actually the biggest and then sort of the middle linkage here the 600 models pretty much have uh, same linkages uh, throughout years so it's not really much of a difference here to talk about but 8 cylinder and 6 cylinders this is the difference you got 8 cylinder has a small linkage very short 6 cylinder will have a longer linkage and um, 
That's basically the only difference. Also, the plate, this plate is bigger than uh, on six cylinder this plate, the cover actually, not the plate, the cover is bigger than the eight cylinder. Okay, so this is the difference. Now, the um, another, another difference is uh, the ASR, non-ASR unit. This is the biggest difference in throttle bodies really. The ASR unit, what happens with the ASR unit, if you move the linkage, as you can see throttle opens right away and all the way. That's when I move the linkage with my hand. That's non-ASR. This 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 uh, throttle body came from the car that has no ASR, no traction control. And more or less it feels like a manual throttle. Now, ASR unit. If you look at this unit, I move the linkage, nothing happens until I go about halfway, as you can see, halfway in the linkage. And when I go further, throttle opens, but not all the way. So it's about one third, it opens one third. This is a limp mode, emergency operation. So ASR units, you have this kind of a slack sort of, that when you move the linkage, the throttle plate does not open. When the unit is energized and it works properly, when you move the linkage slightly, it actually opens up the motor and um, the throttle opens with even slight movement of the linkage. Actually, I can show that. I'm going to energize this unit real quick. Okay, just connected to my computer, as you can see, it opens all the way with slight movement of the linkage. And if I go full throttle, it opens all the way. So that is the difference between ASR and non-ASR unit. When I shut down the power right now, as you can see, it does not open. A non-ASR unit, throttle opens all the way. ASR unit, throttle does not open all the way. Okay, so that's the difference between ASR and non-ASR. And another thing with these units is the production date. This is something that I also try to get from customers before they mail these units over to me. This unit is made in 01 and in month, in 8th month, so that means August 2001. This is the production date on the updated units. You can see production date is printed very clearly. So let's say we want to look at the unit that is older. Let's say this unit. It's also a V8 unit. As you can see, it's ASR unit. But at this unit, production date is faintly seen. Let's see if we can get this on camera here. There we go. You see, this is the production date. Very faintly printed. It says 93M01. That means January of 1993. It is found on the same sticker with all barcodes and everything. 93M01. So... That is in terms of production date on eight cylinder units. Six cylinder unit production date is not gonna be found here. As you can see, there is no sticker. See, if you compare the two, there is no sticker on the case, on the six cylinder unit. There is no sticker right here. Now the sticker on the six cylinder unit is on the case on the other side. Now the production date on this unit can be found here it is also printed. This particular one came in and it was built in February of 1993. So this is where the production date is found on six cylinder units. Um, the 
eight cylinder unit, uh, twelve cylinder units actually does n they do not have production date printed on the unit. This is the twelve cylinder driver side, and this is the twelve cylinder passenger side. The difference between the two. There is no linkage on the passenger side. There is only a linkage on the driver side because this is a slave one. It works. It it is only activated via the computer. The computer activates this unit. There is still a way to find a production date. If you look at the sticker, there is nothing that shows production date. But the only way to find production date on these units is, let's say, you have a passenger side unit. You want to know when it was made. What I what where you can find this is this is if you remove this cover, I actually have cover removed of some other unit that I'm working on right now. This is the cover. So this is the cover that goes on this unit right there. And now inside the cover you can find the date the cover was made. And here we have two and here we have nineteen ninety-three. So this cover was made in nineteen ninety-three. Okay. Also, when you open the cover, you will find gears. Inside here, you're going to find gears. So, one of the gears will have a production date also. Now, the cover was made in 93, but that doesn't mean anything because the covers, they could have made many. But the gear itself, as you can see, there is this little arrow. First month of 1995. So, the unit I'm working off on is of 1995 um, 600 SL, or well, actually SL 600 now. Um, they changed designation. So this unit, the one I'm working on, was produced in first month of 1995 because the gear was made then. And this is the closest you can get to production date on 12 cylinder models. At least we know that close enough that when it was built if you have the gear let's say and then the gear will say okay well it's gonna say zero one or zero five or whatnot like right here instead of 95 it will say like zero like two or zero three that means the gear was produced then so that obviously the unit is updated unit um so this is what you need to remove you need to remove this big cover on 12 cylinder model in order for you to see gear and the cover production date so you that's that's the only way to find when it was produced um very quick i'm going to talk about the four cylinder units this is of c220 it also has a sticker it also has a production date this one is super faint i don't know i cannot even read it it seems like 95 and the month is I can't even see the month. I think it's like eight or something. I don't know, but whatever. It's, it was built in 1995. So the four cylinder unit is. A, there are two units. Um, the actual throttle body controls the idle only. It does not do the cruise control. Cruise control is controlled by separate unit sits next, that sits next to the linkage, um, and that's the cruise control. The throttle body only controls idle on four cylinder cars only. 12 cylinder, 8 cylinder, 6 cylinder, cruise control and idle is controlled by the actual throttle body. And the last difference between them all is the length of the actual wire. Pretty much C class and E class units without ASR in those cars will have a short loom, kind of short wiring. All the same length pretty much. Now units found the 12 cylinders, of course, are the same as well, except for S-Class and SL, okay? So let's say we have this unit, for, for example. This unit is the 12 cylinder unit, and it came from S-Class, S600. The loom is long. If you would uh, look at the unit that came from 600 SL or S6, uh, SL 600, the convertible, the wiring loom is going to be halfway short. So it's going to be much shorter the, because the connector is much closer to the actual throttle body in the convertible. Whereas on the S class, the wire has to reach further. So 
same applies to eight cylinders. You have E class, for example. This is the 12 cylinder car. This is um, this is the uh, the SL actually. This is an SL driver's side. This is S. Uh, this is the S class S600 passenger side. So this is much longer. The eight cylinder vehicles will have longest wire wire loom you find in any models. For example, we have this wire loom. Just wanted to show you the difference in length. This is the S500 throttle body, 95 S500. So I can wrap it like three times, as you can see. This is the loom, original loom. This is how long this is. Now we have another throttle body here that came from a 94 500SL or SL500. Internally it's exactly the same, but as you can see the wire loom is much shorter comparing to the S-Class because the connectors are further apart. SL is a smaller vehicle so connectors are closer to the throttle body. So as you can see, this is the the uh, the S class one. It's much longer comparing to uh, SL. So it's just much shorter. And pretty much that would be it, covering all the throttle bodies uh, that you find in these cars. And the reason why I made this video in the first place is to show people the difference and. Uh, also to make my life easier because many people ask me oh well what do I have this and that so this is um, the comparison between them all um, six cylinder this one C class S class this kind of plug and uh, eight cylinder this type of throttle body this type of plug 94 or 95 12 cylinder, same type of plug, different looking throttle body. That would be it. Uh, many questions, or if you need any of these throttle bodies repaired, visit my website at um, restoreyourmercedes.com and um, you know, I can definitely fix it. I fix many of these things, and as you can see over here, these are basically all customers' units that I'm um, working on or already repaired and waiting to mail them back out and I also have a few more laying around well you know, a couple of spares for parts and whatnot all right well any information that you need um, you can find it on restoreyourmercedes.com thanks for watching